This is Noah's birthday story. Although our agency formed in 1970, our roots are actually much, much older. In fact, they're among the oldest in the federal government. In the early 19th century, President Thomas Jefferson led a country that was largely unmapped and unexplored. By 1807, he created the Survey of the Coast to chart the seafloor and coastline. This was our beginning. By mid-century, the nation was using volunteers to gather rain, temperature, and snow observations. But we also realized how helpful storm warnings could be. So President Ulysses S. Grant established a weather warning office in 1870. This was our very first U.S. Weather Service. About the same time, people were talking about the importance of healthy fish and seafood. So, you guessed it, Congress established a new commission to study, protect, and preserve this resource. Things got a little complicated over time as the various agencies moved, merged, and took on new missions. Technology advanced, the country grew, and the scientific breakthroughs kept coming. But through it all, our focus remained the same, a solid mission of earth science, service, and stewardship led by dedicated public servants. By 1970, it was clear that the atmosphere and a healthy ocean are linked, and a new agency was born, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. We have quite a history here, as we represent the first physical science agency, the first agency dedicated to the atmospheric sciences, the first conservation agency, and a whole lot more. But really, we are better as one. We are NOAA.